So no props today. Just a new, I don't know, 30-ish, 40-ish, 45-ish. We'll see how long this lasts. Flow. <laughs> Feet parallel, hip width apart. Soft bend in our knee. Let's take a big inhale. Grow tall. Reach the fingertips for the sky. Relax the shoulders out of the ears. Exhale, scoop the abs, roll it down. Let everything hang heavy. Head hang heavy, arms hang heavy. Maybe bend one knee and then the other, settling the legs up. Feel that stretch through the back body, through the low back. We'll come back to center with an inhale, soften the knees, scoop the abs, roll it up. Restacking the spine one piece at a time. Fingertips come to the ceiling. Relax the shoulders again. Grab the left wrist and the right hand. Stretch up and over to the right. Lengthening through the side body. Big inhale back to center. Switch hands. Stretch up and over to the left. Lengthening through the left side of the body. Creating space between the ribs. Inhale to center. Turn the palms away. Press the arms out and down. As the hands come to the hips, we'll notch into chest. Use our exhale to melt it down. Let everything hang heavy. Now, soften the knees if you need to, bringing the hands close to the floor. Then we're going to deep leave it and then extend. Think about this hamstring stretch. Deep leave it and extend. And bend and extend. Let's do three more like that. Lengthening through the hamstrings. And two. Last one. All the way back. Inhale there. Exhale, scoop the abs, tuck the pelvis, slowly roll it up, restacking the spine one piece at a time. And it's last to come up. When it does, roll the shoulders back and down. Back and down again, and keep them there. Okay, so we're going to start with high knees. We're going to start marching in place. We're going to get the heart rate up just a little bit. So bring one knee up and then the other. We can jog if we want, or you can just march. Totally up to you. So do what feels good for you. And we're here for 30 seconds. You try and get those knees higher. Belly button pulling in. Getting the heart rate up. 10 seconds. And five. Four, three, two, one. Feet come down parallel. Arms are long. We're going to sit back into our squat and stand up. As we stand up, press those arms behind us. Weight heavy in our heels. Toes light. Belly button pulling in, hinging forward at the hips. And we've got five, four, three, two, last one, all the way back up. Okay, hands are going to come to our hip. We're going to step open with that right leg and then side lunge and back to center. And side lunge and center. So we have hands on the hips. You have arms out in front like a speed skater. We're hinging forward, pulling the belly button in, keeping that standing left leg long. Pressing through the heel as we come back up, getting a little bit of a stretch through the inner thigh. And four, three, staying on the same side, two, one, all the way back up. Let's bring the feet wide, externally rotated. Arms are long. We're going to sit down into a single squat. Arms open to a T. Knees tracking over the second and third toe. Belly button pulling in. Think about those heels pulling toward each other. Engaging the inner thighs. That contraction through the glutes at the top. And six, five, four, 
three, looking good ladies, two, last one, all the way back up, bring those feet back into parallel, let's go into the side lunges on the other side, stepping out with the left leg and lunge it down, and stepping into it, feeling that lengthening through the inner thigh on the right side now, Dressing up through our heel as we come back up. I'm not sure why my camera gets foggy like that. <laughs> like I can't stand the movement. Can't keep up. And we've got six. And five. Four. Three. Two. One. All the way back in, feet are parallel, hip width apart. Arms are long, we're gonna sweep the arms to the ceiling, lift our heels, palms turn away, lower the heels. And inhale, lift, grow tall. Exhale, lower. And lift. Think weight heavy in the big toes. And four. Three. Two. Wow, blurry again. Last one. All the way back down. Let's bring our heels together, toes apart. Arms are wide, relax the shoulders. We're going to lift our heels as we hug a tree. Open wide as we lower. Lift and hug. Open to lower. Heels will pull apart as we lift. We want them to come back together as we lower. And five. Four, three, two, one. All the way back down. Shake the legs out if we need to. Okay. We're going to turn to face our mat. Big inhale there. I am not sure what's up with that camera. Exhale, notch into chest and roll it down. Hands find the floor, and we're going to come all the way down to seated. We'll scooch it forward. We're going to straighten out my neck. Okay. Legs are long. We're sitting tall. Arms out long. Toes reaching away from us. Heels press into the mat. Big inhale there. Exhale. Scoop the abs. Slowly roll it down. Reach the fingertips over the head as we come down. Inhale, nod chin to chest. Exhale, roll it up. Reaching for our toes. Inhale, step to split. Exhale, deep scoop of the, of the abs. Tuck of the pelvis as we roll down. Reach overhead. Inhale, nod to the chest. Roll it up, reach for the toes. Inhale, step or split. So we're going to do several more of those. Think about keeping the heels pressing into the back. Think about that big exhale pulling you up. Belly button pulling behind you as we round forward. Think about that rounding on the way down. Work on the way down. We've got five more. Reach further each time. And four. And three. Sliding back on my mat. I don't know about you guys. Two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Last one. And then sit up tall. I'm going to scoop forward on my mat again. Okay, we're going to continue with those roll downs, but as we roll up now, we're going to take just the right leg to the ceiling. Okay, and then we'll switch and do the left leg. So arms are out long, shoulders out of here, scoop the abs, slowly roll down, and it's almost like a pipe or a partial teaser. We inhale, nod chin to chest, roll it up, reach for those toes on the right leg, and then slowly roll it down out of the left leg. 
Inhale, nod, chin to chest, reach for the toes on the left side, and slowly roll it down. Keep reaching along. Using that big exhale to roll it up, we're almost a teaser up, right off towards those bones. We've got three more to each side. We should start to feel four warming up. And two. The last one. All the way back down. Let's bring the arms one by our side. Bend the knees. Bring the right leg to tabletop and then the left. Arms hovering above the mat. We can imprint the low back if we need to here. Our goal is always neutral spine, though, if we're strong enough to maintain that without feeling work in the low back. And then exhale, lift the chest, reach the arms further. Inhale, roll it down. And then exhale, lift. Inhale, roll it down. And all of that lift coming from the core, coming from those abdominals. And we've got five, four, three, two. Last one, lift and hold and pulse, 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 pulse. Four, three, two, one. And rest it down, feet side the floor. We can hug the knees if we'd like, rock side to side, round out the low back. Okay, second set. Hands come behind the hip, right leg to tabletop, and then the left. And we're gonna lift the chest and hold it. We're gonna tap our right toes to the mat, and then the left. And right, and left, keeping those shoulder blades peeled off the mat. Elbows wide, we can just barely see them in our peripheral vision. Belly button pulling in. Imprint the low back if you need to. Two more to each side. Last one. And rest it down, hug those knees. Release just so I can look at my notes. <laughs> We're going to bring the feet down, hands behind the head, and just a basic chest lift. We're going to peel the shoulder blades up, and now roll it down. Exhale, lift, and inhale, down, and lift, and down, and four, three, two, last one, lift and hold, and pulse, pulse. Pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it down. Use our exhale, lift and hold. Now right leg comes to the tabletop, then the left. Right leg down and then the left. So kind of adding on to those toe taps earlier. Always leading with the right leg. One more time. Right, left, right, left. Hold it, rest down the head and chest. We're going to lift the head and chest. We're going to reverse. Left comes down, and then right. Left lifts, and then right. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Lift a little higher. One more to each side. And rest it down. Hug those knees. Land off the low back. So we should be starting to feel some warming up through the abs here. Okay. We're going to hold the legs long. Hands are still behind the head. So toes reach away. Let's lift the head and chest and lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. Keeping those heels down for three. Two. Lift and hold. We're going to bend the right knee in. 
then the left, extend the right leg, and then the left. And right, left. So similar to what we just did in tabletop. And right, left, peel the shoulders up a little bit higher. Head heavy in the hands, two more to each side. Last one. And rest it down, big inhale there. Exhale, lift and hold, switch legs. Now we're leaning with the left, then right, left, and right, left, right, left, right. And three more to each side, peeling up a little bit higher. And two. Last one. And rest it down. Reach those arms long overhead, stretch out. Let's bring the feet to the floor, knees bent, arms to a T, palms face the ceiling, and let the knees fall to the right, turn the head to the left. Inhale there. Exhale through center, rotate the other direction. Inhale there. We'll exhale back to center. Hug our knees, pull it up, grab a sip of water if you need it. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. Legs are out long, feet are flexed. How are we doing? Are you feeling okay? Yes, thank you. Arms are up to a T, and we're sitting up as tall as we can up on our fifth bones. If for any reason this gets into your low back, you can bend the knees just a little bit. That'll take that work away out of the low back. So sitting tall, and we're going to exhale, twist to the left, twist deeper. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right, exhale deeper. Inhale to the center. So we're getting this spine twist. Really focus on keeping those feet flexed, keeping the arms wide. Exhale, exhale there. So twist, twist deeper. Think about all of this twist coming from the center of the body. Last one. And back to center. Arms are long. We're going to hug our knees and roll it down to the point at the end. Okay, keeping that chest lifted, knees are hugged, holding the front of the shins. We're going to inhale, extend arms and legs away. Exhale, circle it around. Hold the knees in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, circle it around. Into our double leg stretch here. Use that big exhale to circle the arms around. Lift the chest a little higher. And two. One. Rest it down. We're going to do that again, but now we're going to have our hands in front of the thighs. So as our knees come out, we're kind of pushing against those knees, pushing against the hands. Then we're going to lift the head and chest, extend arms and legs away, circle around, push the knees into the hands, and circle around. And three, two, last one, and rest it down. Feet bring the floor, and we'll roll it up to seated. Okay, sitting tall, elbows wide, hugging our knees. Let's hover those feet off the floor. Big inhale there. Exhale, roll it back just to the base of the shoulder blades. Exhale, bigger, roll it up. So we're rolling like a ball. Inhale there. Exhale, exhale. Hold it there. Big inhale. Exhale, exhale. Remember, we're not pulling all the way back and into the cervical spine. And exhale, exhale. One more time, just like that. Keeping the elbows up. Hold it there. We're going to extend arms and legs. We're going to hug the knees. We're rolling back. So just adding on. We extend, hug, and roll it back. And extend, hug, and roll it back. Let's do three more like that. So adding that little bit of a teaser. And two, giving that nice massage through the spine. That always feels so good. Last one. All the way up. Extend, hold. For five, four, three, two, 
One, feet behind the floor, knees fall open to the side, soles of the feet come together. Round forward over the toes. Okay. Opening up through those hips, inner thigh stretch, rounding through the low back. Okay. We're going to roll it right back down. Let's do another set of abs. So right leg comes to tabletop, and then the left. Pull those knees in, lift the chest. We're going to sit on the left leg, exhale, exhale, inhale to switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale to switch. So single leg stretch here, really pulling that in. One more to each side. Now bring the hands behind the head and continue. Still using that double exhale. And let's add rotation, opposite shoulder to the knee. Opposite shoulder to the knee. We rotate, rotate deeper, rotate, rotate deeper. So one more to each side. And rest it down. Okay, right, next set. Okay, next set. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. We're going to bring the right leg to tabletop and then the left. We'll lift the head and chest. We're going to extend the toes to the ceiling. We're going to sweep those legs low, lift, lift the tailbone. Sweep low, lift, lift the tailbone. If you'd like, you can always rest the head and chest down. We just don't want this to get into the low back. Think toes reaching for the ceiling. And three. And two. Last one. Then rest it down. Rock those knees side to side. Round out the low back. Use our exhale, roll it all the way up to seated. How are you feeling here? Good. Good. So here we go. Legs are long, feet are flexed. Heels pressing into our neck. We're going to reach up, fingertips to the ceiling, palms face in toward each other. We're going to hinge forward. I'm going to pulse the arms up and up. And a belly button pulling and getting this little bit of extension through the spine. And five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Round forward. Reach for our toes. Grab onto the toes. We can grab the ankles if that's better. We're really flexible this morning. And on the outside of the foot might be nice. Belly button pulling back behind us. Lengthening through the hamstrings, stretching deeper with each exhale. One more time, big inhale there. Exhale, stretch deeper. Inhale, sit tall. And then come up to a kneeling position. And facing sideways on our neck. So we're going to bring the right hand to the floor. Left leg out long. And we're up on that knee. Things lifted through the side body, strong through the shoulder. Fingertips reach overhead and stretch it over for that side stretch. Okay, now we're going to bring the hand up to the hip as we lift our leg. So lift, lower, side stretch, hold it. Now lift that bottom knee, bring it up to the other knee. Bring it back down. Hand comes to leg, side stretch, and lift the knee. And we're alternating here. Think slow and controlled. We don't need to rush through this. We've got three. And two. Keeping the neck long. Last one. 
Now lift that leg and hold and pulse up, up, up. Four, three, two, one. Toes come down, side stretch. Hold it there. Find our balance. Now lift the bottom knee and lower. Think inner thigh working and lift and lower. And three, two, one. All the way back down. Let's come on up. And step back into a child's pose, stretch it back. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking. Back to that same side. And we're going to come into a side plank. So hand on the floor, top leg in front, bottom leg behind, fingertips to the center. We're just going to hold this. And five, four, three, two, one. Rotate into a center plank. Hold it there, a slight tuck of the pelvis, pressing back through the heels. And holding it, belly button pulling in. And breathing. And five, four, three, two, one. Now let's add nice slow mountain climbers. One knee comes into the chest, and then the other. Stabilizing through the core, through the pelvis, pressing the spine to the ceiling. Nice and strong here, through the shoulders. Everything working. Three more to each side. And two. One. Set the knees down. Stretch it back. Find that child's pose. Round out the wrist if you need to. Okay, hands on the floor. Stretch those toes back again. And find our down dog. Really press back into that up stretch, pressing the heels away, and then come into our plank. And up stretch and plank. So it's almost like a pipe on the reformer, right? Pressing through the shoulders and four. Feel that stretch through the low back. Three. Two. One. All the way back. We'll set the knees down. Stretch it back. We're going to switch over to the other side. How's everybody feeling with those? Good. My mat is moving all over the place. <laughs> Let's bring that up. Okay. So I'm kneeling now, left hand to the floor, right leg extends long, left knee on the floor, and stretch that arm up and over. I feel like I did my easy side first. We'll see how this one goes. Okay, we're going to sweep that arm up, leg comes up, down, hold it, bring the knee up, and lower. And leg and arm sweep, hold it, and the knee comes up. Think lifted through the side body here. Active through the core, strong through that wrist, through the bottom shoulder, and two more. Last one. Now lift the leg and hold it, and pulse, 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 four, three, two, one. Set the toes down, stretch it over. Now we're going to lift that bottom leg. Here we go. Think inner thigh, lift and lower, lift and lower, and four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Sit back into our child's pose, round out that wrist. I come right back up, same side, into our side plank. Top foot in front, bottom foot behind, find that plank and just hold it. Side body lifted, everything active for five, four, three, two, one. Rotate to center into our center plank. Hold it there, pressing back to the heels, slight tuck of the pelvis. Shoulder blades pulling apart and breathing. Big inhales, big exhales. And five, four, 
three, two, one. Now mountain climb is nice and slow. Rest anytime you need to. If maintaining that pelvic tuck, trying not to let our hips lift. Ten seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Set the knees down. Stretch your back. Round out the wrist. Okay, we're gonna come all the way down to our tummy. Toes reaching out behind us. Hands in by the shoulders. Legs on the floor, feet parallel, hip apart. Belly button pulling up, cute bone presses down. Inhale to lift into extension. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. And we've got four. Only lifting as high as we don't feel this in our low back. Two. One. Now we're going to lift and hold. Hold that place where you're comfortable. Lift the legs behind us and flutter kick. And kick. And kick. So we're strengthening the spinal, spinal extensors. Undoing that rounding forward we do at our computers. Reading our candles. Do playing with the kids. And we've got 10 seconds. And five. Four, three, two, one. Rest it down. Okay, second set. We're going to bring the arms to goal post arms. Toes on the floor. Let's lift the chest and lower. So here, it's up to you how high you lift. We're all a little bit different. I do not have a lot of extension through my spine here. I'm not able to lift very high. And that's fine. We still want to feel the work. Belly button pulling in, cubic bone presses into the mat. And two. Last one, hold. Lift those legs and flutter kick again. And kick. And kick. Reaching the toes further. Feel that work through the glutes and the hamstrings. Quads are active. Neck is long. Halfway there. Breathing. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest it down. Okay. We're going to press it up onto our hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Give yourself a couple of cat cows. Exhale, spine to the ceiling. Inhale, belly button to the mat, sending the tailbone behind us. Exhale, spine to the ceiling. Inhale, belly button to the mat. One more time. Angry cat. Happy cat. Spine or a neutral spine somewhere in the middle. Wag the tail like a happy puppy. Okay. Next thing. We're going to come down to seated again. Knees are bent. Feet are flat. Let's roll it down for some bridging. Arms out long. Big inhale there. Exhale. Scoop it up. Let the pelvis roll it down. Arms come long by our side. Slide those heels closer to the booty, closer to the six bones. So let's start with pelvic tucks and tilts. Exhale. Imprint the low back. Inhale. Rock out to neutral. Exhale. Imprint. Inhale, neutral. And three. And two. Last one. And let's scoop the abs, tuck the pelvis, peel the hips up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale as we rock out to neutral. Exhale, peel it up. Inhale at the top. Exhale.
exhale, find mobility on the way down. And three more like that. Reaching the arms longer. And two. And last one. Now we're going to peel it up, fold it up, and bring those arms overhead. So just adding on here. Think inner thighs engaged, belly button pulling in. We're going to lift our heels and lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. And four. Three. Two. Last one. Now keep the right heel lifted. Extend the right toes to the ceiling. We're going to sweep that leg long and lift. Try to keep those hips level. If you need to, bring the arms by the side. And three. Two. One, toes to the ceiling, inhale there, exhale, roll it down. Let's hug the knees, round out the little back. Okay, we're going to bring that right foot back to the ceiling, arms can come along by our side. And we're going to extend the left leg, cross the right leg over the left, circle down and around. And up the other side. Think stability through the pelvis here. All of this movement is coming from that ball and socket joint. Let's do two more. Last one. And reverse, open to the side, down and around. Again, only making these circles as large as we can and still maintaining stability through the pelvis. So if your circle is smaller, that's great. If yours is larger, that's great too. And two. One. And Knee bends, but finds the floor. Feet come up close to the booty again. Let's scoop the abs, tuck the pelvis, lift the hips. Bring those heels closer if we need to, arms overhead. We're going to lift the heels and lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. And three. Two. Lift. Set the right heel down. Keep the left heel lifted. Extend the right toes to the ceiling and sweep the leg low and back up. And sweep. And sweep. Beautiful. And three. Two. One. Toes to the ceiling. Inhale there. Exhale. Roll it down. Let's hug the knees. Round out the low back. The left toes to the ceiling. Right leg extends long. Arms are long by our side. And we start with those circles again. Across the body, down and around. And then across the midline, down and around. Really stabilizing through the pelvis. So if it helps to bring your hands to the hips, that's great. Arms can be along by our side. Wider arms is nice too for more stability. And two. One. And reverse. Open out to the side. Come down, cross the midline, and back up. That right heel is staying heavy on the mat. And three, two, one, and bend the knees. Hug it in. Round out the low back. Take all ten toes to sit in with the head chest. We're going to hold on to the back of that right leg. Let the left leg fall. Single leg scissor stretch here. We exhale, exhale, and inhale to switch. Exhale, exhale, and inhale to switch. And reaching the toes further, keeping those shoulder blades up off the mat. Now let's continue, hands behind the neck, same breath pattern. Let's add rotation, opposite shoulder to the side. Try to straighten those legs and don't mind your bend. Stabilizing through the pelvis, three more to each side. Two. Last one. And rest it down. Rock those knees side to side. Round out the low back. Okay, we're going to extend the legs long. <coughs> Fingertips to the ceiling. Inhale, nod, chin to chest. Exhale, roll it up. Grab a sip of water if you need it.
So we should feel pretty warmed up here. We're going to go into our rollovers. Remember, use the triceps for support here. This doesn't feel good for your spine. Don't do it. As we do these rollovers, we're not rolling up into the neck. We don't want any pressure on the cervical spine. So arms out long, sitting tall. Inhale there. Exhale, scoop the pelvis from all the way down. We're going to bring the arms long by our sides. Bring one leg to tabletop and then the other. <coughs> Extend the toes to the ceiling. You're going to sweep those legs low. Exhale, up and over. Ooh, that was an ugly one for me. Flex the feet, open the legs a little bit. Slowly roll that spine down. As our tailbone comes down, circle the legs out and around. Point the toes, squeeze them together. Exhale, up and over. Flex the feet. Maybe you can bring the toes to the floor. I can't quite get there today. Exhale, round it down. Legs sweep around. Let's do three more. Flex the feet, open. Round through the spine. As the tailbone comes down, let's sweep the legs in a circle. Two more. Flex the feet, open. Round the spine down. One more. Flex the feet open. And slowly round it down. Hug the knees. And out the low back. Extend the legs long. Fingertips reach overhead. So we're going to go into a full teaser here. If these teasers do not work for you, you can always start with the legs at tabletop. It's an option. Okay, we'll see if I can do these today. Not sure about it. We're going to inhale, notch it, switch chest, sweep the arms up. Exhale, teaser up, hold it. Big inhale there. Exhale, slowly lower. We're going to try for five more. Inhale, notch it, the chest. Exhale, teaser up. Everything's long. Hold it. Big inhale. Exhale, lower with control. We're not just dropping back to the mat. Three more. Or, I'm sorry, four more. And three. Teaser are up. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Two more. We should feel everything working here. The last one. Hold it. And lower it down. Oh, bend the knees. Open the arms to a T. Let the knees fall to the right. Turn the head to the left. I know about you girls, but I always feel super successful if I can tease her with everything long. Yes. Exhale through the center. Rotate in the opposite direction. Inhale there. Exhale up to center. Okay. Legs out long. Fingertips to the ceiling. Nod chin to chest. Exhale, roll it up. Reach for those toes again. Get another stretch through the hamstrings. We did that bridging. You should have felt hamstrings working. And we'll set up home. Okay, we're going to come on to our side for some side body work, some oblique work. Bottom arm is extended. Legs are extended, and we're in a slight banana shape. So tailbone is back, but toes and arms are forward toward the corners of the mat. Okay, we're going to let everything lift. Ooh, we can keep that bottom arm down if we want. I have to. And everything lower. And lift. So it's kind of this banana thing that we're doing. And lift. And lift. We should feel that side body working. And three. And two. I've got a couple ugly ones in there. Last one. And lower. Stretch it over. Okay, let's come on up into a mermaid stretch, bottom leg, flex in front, top leg out to the side, arms open to a T. I'm going to bring that hand closest to our knee, up and over. Inhale there, exhale through center, downward stretch to the other side. Inhale through center, exhale up and over. Come through center, counter stretch to the other side. Thank you. Using our breath here to stretch deeper. One more time to each side. And all the way back up. Let's switch sides. So hips are back, toes are forward, arm is forward. 
Top arm overhead. My goal is to be able to lift my bottom arm. I'm just not there yet. So if you can do it, that's great. We're going to lift legs and upper body and lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. And four. Oh, my legs can't work. Try to keep those legs together. Oops. Two. One. And all the way down. And we'll come on up. <laughs> I'm a few girls feel I definitely have my more challenging side with those. Arms up into a T, sitting tall, hips are level. We're going to stretch up and over toward that bent knee. Inhale through center, exhale through the other side. Inhale through center, one more main stretch over. Try not to let that hip lift, that opposite hip. Inhale through center, exhale counter stretch. One more time. Inhale through center, up and over. And then counter stretch. And we'll sit tall. Let's turn over. Hands and knees. Open the knees as wide as the mat. Stretch it back into that child's pose. Really lengthen the body here, lengthen through the shoulders. Let's lock the hands to the right side of the mat. Stretch through the left side of the body. Lock the hands to the left side of the mat. Stretch through the right side of the body. Come back to center. Make sure we're even. Make sure we're center. Bring those knees into parallel. Curl the toes under. Hike the hips to the ceiling. Head hangs heavy between the shoulder blades. Over there, let's bend one knee, press the other heel back to the mat, and switch, and switch, and switch. One more to each side. More even, we come back to center, soften the knees if you need to, walk the hands back to the toes, hang heavy at the bottom of our wall now. Head hangs heavy, arms hang heavy, maybe gently nod our head, yes. Releasing any tension there, maybe gently shake the head now. We could maybe sway side to side like a train in the breeze, either hold the opposite elbows if we like. We'll come back to center with our inhale. Soften the knees, scoop the abs, slowly roll it up, restacking the spine one piece at a time. Next last to come up. When it does, let's bring those fingertips to the ceiling. Turn the palms away, press the arms out and down, heart energy forward. Feel that lengthening through the front of the body. Let's roll the shoulders back and down. Back and down again. Keep them there forever and ever and always. Hold one hand up. Give yourself a high five for working hard. Hey, how's everybody feel? Good. That was fun.